rock and pieces fall off. Um, so that does make it one of the easiest to frag. It's actually a lot simpler than the zoanthids. Um, it's just healing on them is a little bit different. But you just take your bone cutters, which I use again the bulk reef supply. I think they're like $20, $25 on their website. Um, these are one of the most handy tools that you can have when fragging. Uh, and you just start going in and snipping off pieces. So you just press really hard and then you get a piece broken off. Try and get the bottom of it as flat as you can. So even if you cut it and it's at an angle, you can go in and kind of even it out. That way when you glue it down onto the frag plug, it stays upright. So it's not important if you glue it sideways or it falls over, it'll still grow upright, but it just looks nicer in the beginning if it's already upright. And then one of the things that's really helpful when you're fragging, Yes, please. Just one. Oh, thank you. So I use the pipettes and I'll take just a drop of water and I'll put it on top of the super glue because then when I put this in, it sticks a little bit better to it and makes it tacky. So I'll just kind of swirl it around and twist it. That way it really grabs a hold of the base of the bird's nest and it's not going to come off. So that water just helps it adhere a little bit more. And then just drop it in the water and let it heal. So any questions on fragging bird's nest? And this applies to acros, any kind of stick like SPS. So, good so far? And then does anyone want to try fragging this? Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Should be easy, right? Go for it. You got some sweet fries. I was looking at fries last night. He makes me spend money, but yeah. Like last week, I think I spent more than this.